What's up, everybody on YouTube? It's your boy, the Memphis XLR8. Welcome you back to check this out. The show where we take a look at whatever we want to take a look at and have ourselves a good old time with it. Today, everybody, was originally going to be the corn deck, but I actually got this deck sent to me the other day. And YouTube being what it is, it got lost in translation, but I have it now. I've built it. And we're going to be playing it in today's episode. This is a very interesting deck that was sent to us by our boy, the first alchemist. It's basically a combination of Ragnarikas, Aromas, Predator Plants, a whole bunch of different stuff. And ultimately, this deck has a few different things you can do. We can combo off, we can make lots of big beat sticks, we can lock our opponent out of their boards, hence with the Cactus Man here. So it's a deck that can do a whole bunch of different things depending on the sorts of hands we get. So we're gonna go into EDO Pro, we're gonna show off this deck, show you the wombos and the combos, the what do's, the what not do's, the whole shebang. Show off as much of this deck as we can in the time that we have today. And hopefully show off at least a good amount of what this deck can do. Like I said, there's a lot this deck can do. It's a 60 card beast. So we're gonna be showing off today. And if you want the whole deck list, it's actually gonna be down in the comments today. Don't forget to hit that up and all that good stuff. And if you wanna try this deck out yourself. so. Enough talking, let's get into EDO, let's get into the action, let's show off this deck, show off what it can do, have ourselves a good old time. Alrighty everybody, our first opponent, another day, another card game. With our deck we like to go first because it is locked down Cedric, but we can also go second, we have options for both. This opening hand is an interesting opening, it's not perfect, we don't have any of our spell traps or anything. But I do have my offer Scorpio, so that's one of our main stardom up options. We're up against Sue Ships, which uh, if he makes the one sushi, that could be a problem, but we'll see how that goes. Other than that, the opening hand, a lot of the things we're going to have in our hand are going to be fuel for our combos. So we'll see where it goes. All right. Not perfect, but I think we can still make some out of this. So we're going to start with our Orpha Scorpio. He's our main starter, like I said, for the Predator Plant Engine. We're just going to discard one of these cards in our hand. Set up for our Therian Boria if we just happen to have nothing else. And we'll just do the Predator Plant thing. We're going to go for our Darling Tongue Cobra. And because we don't have, like, Ready Fusion or Harmonic Synchro Fusion, if, if we have those in the hand, it changes slightly. But we're always going to try and get Ultra Poly when possible, unless we already have the darn thing. So we're going to activate that. Good old Ultra Poly, pay our life points. And we're going to fuse into this guy. Good old Predator Plant a Ambulance Man. I, I I can never pronounce this guy's name. It's uh, Ambulamelidibia. That's his name. Uh, so we're going to summon this guy out. When he is summoned, I get to add one of my Predator Plants. We're going to go ahead and get... Uh, I'm going to summon another of these out. So we're going to get the Hand Trap one. We're going to get the Hand Trap one here. And this is where things are going to get start getting spicy. We're gonna banish our Ultra Poly, and we're gonna get all the materials back. We're always gonna be getting into plants because a lot of the cards in our deck are, well, every monster we have is a plant. Some of our cards lock us into plants. We just wanna make sure that we're gonna keep plants a going. We're gonna tribute this boy off. We're gonna summon out this guy. It looks more like a bug than a plant, but who am I to judge? Anywho, it doesn't matter. Um, hmm. That's an option too. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay, let's go for Borea so I can do fancy things. This may seem wasteful, but if it works out for us, we can start pretty dang strong. We're summoning out Lily Borea. And we're gonna summon out our initial starting link. We're gonna go for our Sylvan uh, Densephony. When she's summoned, I get to excavate three cards and summon any plants that I'd like to summon out. And we'll chain block with this Bispus. I said, this is a very combo -y deck. It is a little complicated, but a little bit of practice. It's not that hard to figure out. We're going to go for Dan Cephany. We always want to excavate three cards, just maximum chance to get everything. And uh, I can't summon the Cactus, but getting Evil Seed is actually pretty good, too. Because that'll let me search out more things. Get me my spell, the Ragna Bloom. I will lose a card doing this, but that's fine. That's totally fine. And we're going to use... Uh, Dan Stephanie's. Let me think about this. Uh, I could do. Well, this will let me bring back a monster. Well, it would have to be Ragna Seed. Let me think about this. Oh, there's so many things I could do. I could just go for Jasmine. Get other things. That's normally what I want to do. But I also kind of want to make like my Ricka Queen. That's the thing. 
So I would like it if there was just a couple more ragdoms in here, or at least another plant one. Oh, uh, but let's go ahead and, you know, I'll, I'll show off the big seeds later. We, we got to show off other different combos. So I can't use seed for lynx, but that's totally fine. We're going to use Dancephanes, and we're going to use any monster, Make Jasmine. And we'll use her effect. We're going to go ahead and tribute off the evil seed. Don't really need it right now. And we're going to summon out, could be anyone I'd like. We're gonna just go ahead and churn through the Lone Fire Blossoms. We're gonna do as they did in the olden days with Lone Fire Blossom. And we're just gonna go one Lone Fire into another. But we're not gonna use them all up for this. We're not gonna use them all up for this. We're gonna use two of them up for this. That way, you know, cause I can use Darling Tober. It's always good to just, you know, we'll, we'll keep one Lone Fire, just in case. Just in case, so we'll get rid of Darling Tober here. And Lone Fire is going to summon forth good old Rosalina. So I don't have as many life points as my opponent does. Normally that's a terrible place to be when you're playing a row mages. It's totally fine. We'll summon these two out. We are locked into plants right now, but that's really not that big of a deal. We're going to go ahead and summon out good old Marjoram. She'll get me my trap so I can interrupt my opponent, start searching things, and we'll be all good. We will be all good. All right, we'll set this here, and I think that'll be good. Let's go ahead, battle phase, and get more life than my opponent. That way, the Aromages will have all of their power. My monsters won't be targetable, and they won't be destructible by battle either, which are two things that are very important when going up Sioux ships. So we should be all good there. So, like I said, it's a deck with a lot of different complicated bits to it. Once you play through it a few times, you'll learn the different combos and things, and it becomes easier. Like, depending on the hand you get, it can be completely different. If I had Harmonic Synchro Fusion, I could have gone for my Synchro and my Fusion. I, I, what Marjoram wouldn't have searched, but that's, like, irrelevant when you have two big beaters on the board. And then, you know, different things. We have our Red of Fusion. We can make friggin', uh, what, what's this name again? The big Fusion, Fred of Plant, uh... I always forget all the Planet Plant names. They have such weird names. Uh, Drag Stapelia. Good old Stapelia would be good too. But yeah, my opponent is selling out his Gunkin Sioux ship. Just a turn too late, I'm afraid. I, I feel bad because I really like Sioux ships. That's such a... It's a funny archetype art-wise, but it's a really cool archetype just gameplay-wise. I really like them. I really I really like Sioux ships. What are you doing? How dare you attack me, Thor? I blessed wind. I shall be gaining life points by recovering one of my Darlington Cobras so I can just get that back. And that way, both of these will activate. Jasmine's gonna let me get stuff. I'm gonna pop Shari because I don't trust what this guy's trying to do with it. And I'm gonna search out the meanest... Oh, my opponent's surrender. Okay. That's fair. To be honest, the minute he saw that I was going to search out Motherfucking Bamboo Shoot, lock all of his spell traps, he was gonna surrender either way. So... That's the idea basic of this. That's like one of our boards. It's very much the Arrow Mages. The Arrow Mages are one of our main guys to go into to interrupt my opponent. That's the basic thing there. But there's, like I said, a lot more this deck can do. So let's go ahead for duel number two. Hopefully we get to show off some of the other combo wombos in this deck. And I'll try to, you know, mix things up. Go for different boards that I would normally go into. Just to give me the full breadth of what this deck is capable of. All right. Alrighty, second opponent. Let's go and do it again. And we don't get to pick again, but that's okay. You know, hey, we get to go first anyway. That's perfect. That works just fine. Hey, we have ready fusion too. Uh, we have a lot of ready fusions. Alrighty. Uh, let's go ahead and start with ready fusion. Just in case. Test out for any ash flaws. We're going to summon out this lady. This is Rose Spectre of Dunn. Very important card in the deck. Very important. And we're going to summon out our Lone Fire Blossom and do its thing. So, tribute that off. And we're going to keep this Rose Spectre around for a little bit. We want to keep her on the board. Because she's going to allow us to do some different stuff. So, trip it off the Lone Fire again. And just deck thinning at this point. Like I said, you want to... Whenever you have a 60 card deck and you can deck thin, it's always a good idea to do it. Especially if my opponent has like Nibiru or something. Which, if they have it, we're just dead. So, might as well just... Go on in there, doesn't matter. We're just gonna keep doing our thing. Or for Scorpio, do your thing. Thankfully, we have a monster to discard for that. And we'll get our boy, Darlington Cobra. Good old Cobra. Uh, let me think about this. So yeah, we'll get our Ultra Poly. 
And now that I have a Predator Plant and a Fusion, I can actually go for somebody different this time. You know, this is what the Spectre of Dun really is about. We can make drags to Pelia. Uh, let's see, use you and use... It doesn't matter. And we'll make drags to Pelia. Put him on the board in case I need to have some negation. I've got it. I've got a drags to Pelia. And from then on, we're going to kind of go a similar route to what we did before. Uh, we are going to summon out such things as our Dancephony and go into her. Really wish my, the rest of my hand was not just ready fusion, but that, that'll happen sometimes, you know? Just gotta play with it and see where it goes. At least I have discard fodder. Let's uh, see what we get. A monster. I mean, it's it's a good monster to have, though. He's a monster we want to have available. So let's go ahead and tribute all these two. Go for Yasmin. And then we'll use Yasmin's effect, ditching off our Bispis. And summon out uh, good old Rosalina. Hey, hey, and I'm not locked in anything, so that's even better. So, Rosalina will do her thing. Like I said, a lot of this deck will end up in the Rosalinas, I find. So, you know, we, we'll see a lot of that. But at least we're seeing things new. The Drax Tepelli's here. He's new. He's a new dude. He's a new crude dude with a good attitude for me. Bad for my opponent. So, we'll summon out our good old girl. I probably could have put... Uh, I probably could have protected Drax Tepelia, but I don't think it really matters too much. Considering my light points are significantly lower than my opponent's, unless he's playing, like, extra foolish burial or something, I don't see that being a big issue. Uh, so we'll end our turn there. We'll see We'll see where it goes. We'll see where it goes. Like I said, I've got a little bit of stuff. I've got a little interruption right here. I've got my Marjoram. I can just pop stuff when I gain life. I'll get to search when I gain life. And then I can just target monsters, give them a counter, reduces their level, screws with Xyz players. It's hilarious. And what is this? Uh, some Sar Lotus. Rip this card. Someone you bell. I'm going to attempt to interrupt that because I don't trust you as far as I can chuck you. So let's go ahead and recover Darlington Cobra for now because, you know, that way I can use that later. Search out more polys. That would be great. Uh, so we'll pop this some Sar Lotus because I don't trust it. And we're going to search out our Orphoscorpio. That way I can get my darling new cover back out here. And we'll see what my opponent can do next. So we're up against the U-Bells, which means probably Unchained are involved in here somewhere. And my opponent's got the big fusion that I forgot about. Let's see. Blah, blah, blah. Can't be beaten by battle. They do battle. When your opponent activates a monster effect, trip this card. Activated effect becomes something different. I always forget about this stinking thing. Uh, let's see, opponent animates a monster effect, trip this card. Yeah, that's really annoying. I, I really don't like this fusion at all. Any fusion or any monster that's like super easy to make, whose effect is basically change your opponent's effect into something that's 100% beneficial to me, is not a fun thing to go up against. Like the Dark Worlds have theirs with Graffa, the Overlord of Dark World, that thing's annoying as itself. This thing can force you to pop a Ubel in your opponent's deck, and they get to pick the Ubel, too. They get to pick it. They can pick it like their noses, I tell you. So, not a, not a fan of this thing. Not a fan of this thing, but let's see where it goes. In Shuffle. E here or near space with a different name for the deck. I was about to say, oh yeah, he has his contact fusion or whatever it's called. Uh, Neos fusion. Yeah, so he can get out Stratos, and that's going to let him add another hero, and I really, really want to stop all this nonsense. Uh, I guess I should have just negated the Samsara and kept my pop. Sure, it's like, how was I to remember all this? Oh, I don't know, but... No, well, we're stuck with it now. We're stuck with it now. We'll see where it goes. I mean, I still have my other Orphus Scorpio. I still go into other things. Just a matter of he's going to go into Kluger, who I really want to do something about. Uh, let's see. When Monster Predator was resolved, the Monster with Predator. Yeah, that would have been really nice if I had that option. Uh, but I don't have that option. I'm not allowed to do anything to this because of this stinking U Bell thing. I mean, it's a one-time effect, because he has to tribute it, but considering how the U-Bell line works, that's not exactly in my favor. So this is... Are you attacking into Jasmine? 
Okay, I guess. Um, oh, Lordy, I want to do something, but if I do anything, then that's just. I guess I I have to do something. I I have to do drags to pelly to force this thing's effect, because otherwise, I, otherwise I'm never gonna get to do anything. You know what I mean? I have to force this effect, otherwise he's just gonna negate Orphan Scorpio. I don't have another option here. Uh, one good thing, yeah, he'll get the Poppy you Bell. That'll be Spirit. Spirit will do its thing at some point. Out. Ouchie. Uh, oh yeah, you Bell's effect already active. Oh, okay, that that's good. That's good. That means he can't use that effect right now. That's good. Uh, that is good. But Kluger is bad because Kluger uh, is a 3,000 beat stick. My deck doesn't have a lot to counter to recalibrate those all the beat sticks. I have some stuff. I do have some things. So let's see if I can get those things a going. So let's see. I can bring back an Aromage monster. We'll, we'll try that in a minute. Let's start with Orphus Scorpio. Go into Orphus Scorpio. Ditching. I'm sorry, Titaniel. I need other things. And no, not yet. Where's my boy? Darlington Cobra. Come on. Um. Once per. All right. That's a once per duel effect. Uh. Uh. Okay. That's not. It's not the worst thing in the world. Let's see. Turn the monster, discard points. You're taking a card on the field. Banish it. Um. Gain a thousand life points. I didn't need to do that. Let me think about this. I'm going to pay a thousand with Blessed Winds because I really kind of need to. And we're going to revive Yasmin. Then I can make uh, Rosemary, who is my kind of sort of boss monster, go to Aroma Lilith Rosemary. And when this thing gets summoned out, I do get to add any Aroma monster I want. I'm going to go ahead and get Rosalina because that'll let me gain more life points back. And we're going to use Rosemary's Effect, or I can Tribute off Cobra, Banish Kluger, uh, and we will hope that this helps. I'll gain a thousand, and then I could summon Rosalina, but I will choose not to. Oh boy, we'll see where this goes. Okay, this is going to summon Wise Guy from the deck, and that's another 3k beat stick. Uh, it's another 3k beat stick. Let me think about this. Okay. I think. Let me guess if this does something, if it's destroyed too. Can I destroy card effects? Oh, okay, it can't be destroyed card effects. Um. I don't have many other options to do anything about this thing. That's the problem. Like, I can put a counter on it that stops its effects to a degree. Uh, and I can bring back Bispis, which is cool. Uh, let's see. Trip this monster. That doesn't help me too much. All right. Uh, that's really not much else I can do. Sad to say. This deck's one big weakness, I will say, is big 3k beat sticks. We don't really have a lot of big 3k beat sticks. Oh, you are off. Mm. Summoning that thing back. I see. Uh, I'm going to play Blessed Winds here. Let's we'll see if I can do some snarky stuff here. We'll summon back Sweet Marjoram. So that maybe I can do something about this. We're going to activate Rosalina. Try to gain some light points. Uh, my opponent will use you Bell, which... I mean, that's what it is. I just got to get this thing off the board. That's the hope of the prayer here. What does this do again? Yeah, I can't stop that right at the moment. But it's what I it's what I got. It's what I got. He destroyed another spirit of you, Bell. That means he's gonna get a you, Bell. Get a Neo Spirit. Yep. Yeah. All right. Well, I think it's a valiant effort with this second duel, but unfortunately, I don't know if I can out this. See, it's normally with this deck, you want to build a board and be able to counter this better. And Lordy, I think if I had just negated the Lotus and instead of popping it, I could have done a lot better here. 
Um. Yeah, I don't think it really matters what I do at this point, because, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and negate this. That's fine, too. Stops him from getting a poly, but he is going to get a Ubel. He will get a Ubel, and if he has the Nightmare Pain, I just lose. That's essentially how it goes. I just lose at that point. Uh, but no, cro Cross Sheep. Cross Sheep. Uh, oh, let me guess. You're going to make another one of that thing, aren't you? You are. You are. You're just going to make another Phantom Ubel. Oh, who made this? Who made this thing? Who made you and who hurt those people? All right, so you're gonna pop my back row? No, you're just gonna add yourself another card. Okay. Get to breathe them. Okay, look. Hey, I can appreciate an old tech. Blaze man, you don't see as often. He's a cool dude. He adds poly. I don't like that he's adding poly. I also don't like using that particular. I'm more of a classical poly designer kind of guy. Um, okay, so what are you fusing into, dare I ask? Dare I ask it, Nova Man? No, it's just Sunrise. <laughs> okay, you, ra you ran out of your fancy text. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. So yeah, I think, regrettably, that's a loss, folks. That's a lot. Like I said, with, with our deck, we like to set up, and we like to lock our opponent out of these big beat sticks, or at least be able to interrupt them better. And unfortunately, this time, that didn't work. Which is sad because we got to make drags to Pelia. He's a little tricky in this thing because you need the ready fusion to do it, but it's he's a cool, ooh, cool dude. So uh, let's go ahead for duel number three, pick ourselves back up, and oh, goodness, I have the hiccups now. I got the hiccups. But yeah, I'll see you guys in duel number three. All right, everybody, our third opponent, the fight and third, picking our souls up, going first. That's what we like to see. Opening hand is an interesting one. It's an, it's an interesting opening hand. All right, it's interesting. Let's go ahead for the Rose Bell of the Revelations. Let's be at my theory, and, or if I want a Titanial to my hand. So that, that'll be a nice thing there. I've got my Romas. I've got my Ready Fusion. Hmm. And I'll say, hmm, interesting here an opening hand. Let's go for a Roma with Rosalina and see where it goes. I mean, we'll get Marjram. Like I said, a lot, a lot of this deck I've found will go into the aromas whether you like it or not. Uh, but it is something we do into. So let's go ahead and start off with our sweet marjoram. We'll add ourselves our trap just to have another card out of the deck. That's all the good stuff. Go ahead and ban an ash blossom. That works beautifully to me. Actually, anything you place would work beautifully. Ash blossom, imperm, effect the veiler, whatever. Doesn't matter to me. I will take any of those. Uh, so we'll get our sweet marjoram. We got things to recover, and normally I save this for Cactus Bouncer, but Black Garden is a go. So now when my opponent starts summoning stuff, I'll get tokens, his monsters get weaker, mine get... Well, mine will also get weaker if I summon monsters, but my opponent doesn't need to know that. Uh, he doesn't need to know that. That's silly stuff, let me tell you. Uh, also realizing I probably could have done a little bit different with that board, but it's it's what it is. It's fine. I probably could have made, well, it, it depends on how the Sylvan went. I maybe could have made an exceed, but I think it'll work just the same. I think it'll work just the same. So, Bistiels, you say. Not the best opponents to go up against. Chicken game. It's a game of chickens. All right. I mean, you're paying life points, and doing that makes my monsters stronger. So, okay. What do you got to do? Draw another card? Of course you are. That's all people will lay with chicken game. It's just a card to draw more cards. It's basically just upstart goblin, but it's a field spell with Oni Tank T45. That's not, that's not monster, by the way. Uh, so, all right. Bistials and some kind of draw engine and Ashen. Okay. Bistial and Ashen. I guess they are dark, so that makes sense. Uh, what do we have? The Extinguishing of the Ashen. Send a dark pyro. Add a dark pyro, or just any pyro, from the grave to the hand, okay. Just trying to get your big dragon. Because I remember, that's how Ashen worked. You get the big dragon. You summon it to your opponent's field, and then you blow up the field. That is my remembrance of what that card does. Uh, let's see, target card, summon this card, destroy that card. Uh, it's going to blow up my... Actually, that works. Actually, I was thinking to myself, what am I going to do when my opponent has all these tokens? Uh, the answer is, now that he's gotten rid of my field spell, 
I'm fairly set in that respect. Now, he is going to get the trip. And I do wish I had a generic link, uh, which I, I don't. I don't in this particular case. But, you know, uh, what level is it made of? He's level nine. Damn, I really wish I could get this in my graveyard. That would have been way better. That would have been way better, but I think I'll, I'll hold off for a second, because last time I played Blessed Wind too early, that didn't work out too well. So, I think I'm, gonna, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait and see what this guy does. Uh, let's see, blah, 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 add an action card. Give me whatever you want, get the spell. Place an action card. Uh, so you target effect monster Pokemon controls, it gets effects to the end of the turn. Okay. Dash or in the grave, pretty nasty card. You're gonna give every archetype a more ridiculous negation nowadays, eh? Konami, that's what you do. Uh, oh no! Super Polly! I do have a dark token. Oh no, oh, okay. Oh, because he has this. Okay, what does this do? This card is fusion summon. Target a field spell. Add it to your hand. Start damage calc. Battles a monster that's a pyro. Destroy it. it that's what the uh, Ashen Field does. It turns everything into pyros. People forget that, but that's essentially what, that's what it does. Anything special summoned. Uh, I think it's specifically the extra deck. I could be wrong. But it, it turns special summoned monsters into pyros. What does this do? Uh, Okay. I think I'm good here. Let's go for a blessed wins. Let's recover life points. And pop this thing, because I don't like it. Mm -mm. No, I don't. So we'll get rid of this embers of the ad. Pretty cool monster, but he dead now. He dead now. No, my token. Um, Can I use both of these traps in one turn? I don't think I can. I don't even have enough plants in the grave to do it anyway. Doesn't matter. Okay, Rose Token. You were a soldier. And we appreciate you. Uh, though now that my stuff has been, as they say, banished, not so good. Uh, so he can recover his uh, big dragon, but he's going to need to put some effort into getting it on the board. This could work. Hmm. Let me think about this real quick. So if I, I could use chicken game. I'll use, I'll have 50 more life points than you do, son. All right, that'll work just fine. So what I'm going to do here, because I need things, things I need. I need thingy things, the thingy things that are thingies. So let's use this blessed wing because it's not an imperm uh, sort of deal. We'll ditch our Therian because I have another Therian. And we'll see where this goes. I'm just kind of hoping to bait things out here. Let's see. This guy, though, is going to be annoying because he's just going to ditch one of my special summon monsters. Uh, let's see. Although, as long as I keep Marjoram aboard, that's not a problem. Yeah, that's not a problem. Okay, so he will get the dude back. Then I get to pop a few. Actually, if I pop his field spell... Is my pop his field spell? All right, that's a quickie. Damn it, I forgot about that part. Uh. Okay, that's not good. Because I think he can steal my monster whenever he wants. Or can he only use? He only uses effective action whenever you can only do but one. I think he can do that again, which is not necessarily good. Uh, and I really, st I still wish I had like a generic link of some form. Uh, but I don't. So we're just going to have to gun it. Let's go for Retort Fusion. Go for Retort Ready Fusion and see where this goes. What does this do? During the main phase, Fusion Summon a Pyro. Moves the monsters. Give me the field's material. Okay. Yeah. Impermanence. Okay. Seems like a waste, but okay. You were going to imperm my Marjoram. I'm not sure why, but go ahead. See, this is why I put these in different spots and use them in different times. That way it doesn't matter if he does that. Come forth, Rose Specter of Doom. What say ye to this? Please say nothing to this. I, I don't want you to do anything to that. I'd appreciate it if you did a whole lot of nothing. Uh, so let's go ahead and use a fairy. Actually, I just thought of something that might help us. 
Uh, let's see, target a plant. Blah, 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 blah. Ooh, that could work. That could, in theory, work. Okay, here is my really, really, really silly idea, which only works if he doesn't play this. Uh, what does this do? Oh yeah, this is the one that lets him negate my effects. Silly boy, that doesn't faze me in the slightest. Not even a little bit. The only thing that really annoys me is that I still have it out to the bestial, but... You know, sometimes that's how it goes. Uh, let's go ahead and make out our Sylvan Dansepony. We'll see where this guy again. If he steals Ashened... If he steals this back, that's not good, because then this is the one that... Send from your opponent's field to the graveyard, destroy all monsters, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, because if he blows up the board, that's bad. Okay, Marjoram, Bis, Bis, and... Oh, I can only get two of those. Mmm, 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 mmm. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get these two. And I can't use them as link material, so... Oh, yeah, Lone Fire Blossom. Yeah, 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 Lone Fire Blossom. Uh, we'll summon Lone Fire over here. And we'll summon this Bis over here. All right, and then we're gonna use Fionn's effect, targeting our Bori in the graveyard, which will change the levels of the monsters I control. Unfortunately, that was the thing that scared my opponent, and he was right to be, because I was about to use those to succeed material. Dang it! Uh, okay. Uh, well, I tried. I tried that bit. That, that would have worked really good. I tell you, it would have worked really good. Okay, so my monster attack goes to zero. Hmm. This has been negated, but I can revive it. And then, hmm. Let me, th oh lordy, that's a tricky one. I get to tribute somebody. Have I normal summoned? I forget. I don't think I did. Give it a shot. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're tripping off Bip Bip. That will summon out. Oh, it wouldn't even matter anyway. I'm gonna get out Pride of Plant. Orphus Scorpio. Oh, well, that didn't help either because then he just doesn't work. Oh, get another Orphus Scorpio. Why the heck not? Because I did not normal summon yet. Therefore, I will do it now. What? Why, why, oh, wait, wait, hold on a second. What happened to, why are you not working? Why is that not, what, did I do something? I'm not, I, I don't remember doing anything that would have stopped that, but okay. Uh, let me think. Well, that's really sucky. I was kind of hoping to do stuff with that. Summon forth, Rosemary. Cause I got nothing better I can summon. <laughs> Why, why try to plant Orphus now? I'm not locked into anything. Unless I'm just, unless I'm just mentally forgetting what I'm doing. Is it? It's not Retort Fusion. That's weird. Oh, I can play Ultra Poly now. Okay. Um, what were the fusion requirements of the, th okay, two Proto Plants, a Proto Plant and a Dark Monster. Uh, maybe in a minute. First, I'm gonna use Rosemary's Effect. Ditch Marjoram, banish Vidos because he's the tricky one. And then I'll gain some life points. And then I can summon out Rosalina, but there's not really a point to that anymore. Uh, I would get out, actually, why not? If I summon out Rosalina, I will get a Marjoram. And then Marjoram, if I have more life than my opponent, I won't take any damage. Uh, and then we're gonna activate Ultra Poly. We will take light points, but that's fine. Uh, we're gonna summon out, uh, let's see, you and you. And we're gonna summon out you. Camera flays ya, baby. And we're gonna go ahead and banish Druid's Worm because I, I don't like that guy. And my opponent will surrender to Plant Onslaught. All righty. Woo! That was a that was a tricky duel. That was an actually kind of tricky one. Vios can be a really annoying dude because if you try to blow him up, he just blows up your whole board and stuff. So had to do some thinking there. But that's what plants are about: is using your brain. That's what they do. So good on us. We were able to power through that. It was a tricky thing to do it, but 
hey rosemary came in clutch the loan fires did their thing romage did their thing we got to do we got to do some stuff and some things with that duel very much appreciate it so uh you know what how, how much time did we uh have on the clock right now we've kind of got all the time going now all right, everybody, so Ragnarok, uh, a Rome Age plant lock, whatever crazy combo deck you want, whatever the name of this deck is, I didn't actually ask what the name of the deck is, so I'm just going to call it Super Plant Lock. Went two out of three, perfectly acceptable, you know, the deck works fairly well. It's very much combo-y, and the combos you get really depends on your opening hand. You know, ideally, you're starting with things like Lone Fire, and you go into either your Rosalina or your Predoplane Orphus Scorpio, depending on where things go. I just still don't know why Orphus wasn't working that last duel. But, you know, it's what it is. I'm sure I did something wrong. Uh, but, you know, this is what this deck is about. We just gotta go into the combos. The monsters get swarmed under the board. Different boards are made in different situations. And, well, we didn't get to do the Cactus Bouncer thing. He's really more of a sub sort of strategy. Yeah, because we do use our normal summon a lot in this deck, especially with like Scorpio and Rosalina. Yeah, we can special summon them at times with like, or you know, we can use up one normal summon with our uh, Ragnarika here. But a lot of the times our normal summon is already used up. So what we can use Cactus Bouncer, he's more of like a, a, a set up the board, interrupt the opponent, then summon him sort of situation. So yeah, uh, otherwise I really like this deck. It's a very interesting combination of things. I'm kind of curious what it would have been like if we'd used the new Ragnarika, which uh, I know it's not a I know it's not a plant or anything, but it does let you summon plants from the hand, so it's an interesting thing to consider. But regardless of my ideas, thank you everybody for watching. If you did like this video, don't forget to hit like, comment, consider subscribing, all the good YouTube stuff. And if you want the deck list, like I said, it's in the description today. A little bit different, but for now, thanks for watching. Next time, we're going to be playing ourselves some corn. That's going to be a very silly deck. It's not going to be super combo like this one, but we're going to summon a giant squid made out of corn. And that is what true duelists need to see. So stay tuned for that one. Next time, we'll be playing the corns. For now, your boy Memphis is signing out. I got to get ready for that rival lock. Till next time, everybody else, stay safe and happy. You have a wonderful day. Peace.